something poked me. What? Who put something like that in a sandcastle? This is a dangerous neighborhood. A perfect fertilizer. That worked better than I expected. Yes, there are pictures of the herbs in here. Let's see. Ah, that should be coriander. What do you serve here? Cerveza de los Barbaros. This looks like a green barbarian brew. It's a new recipe. You got me in new lost wages, Larry. It's really good. But those nitpicking health officials don't give a damn about the taste. Anyway, I added some salt and lemon and some grated lizard for the color. You have to adapt to local customs. get over the wall. It's impassable. You can't get on the property unless they let you in. However, I heard something about a secret tunnel, but only the locals are likely to know about it. One cerveza de los barbaros, please. Uh, coming right up. Let me guess. You want me to put it on your tab again? Ah, uh, I must have forgotten to change money. Well, I had to move to Cancom a little hastily myself and forgot your tab. Let's start a new one. Here you go. Thanks. See you later, Lefty. Lefto. One thing's for sure, I'm not gonna drink that. Where's Becky when you need her? What does it say on that wall? This is our holy prophecy, which has stood on this wall for centuries. That wall looks pretty new to me. We invest in heritage conservation. What does it say on that wall? This is our holy prophecy, which has stood on this wall for centuries. Can you translate it? The alpacas will bow before the man in white who stands in the light of the morning sun. And then the gringos will be driven off the island and peace will return. What does that mean? Did I speak Spanish by mistake? It means that the alpacas will bow before the man in white who stands in the light of the morning sun. And then the gringos will be driven off the island and peace will return. Well. That was very helpful. See you later, Elroy. El Rey. It's all green and hard. Hopefully that won't be cooked here. See you later, Elroy. El Rey. Now it's in the syringe. I hope the beer doesn't etch its way through. The whole story hasn't reached its climax yet, but I'm gonna spurt anyway. Okay, that was pretty pungent, I'll admit. Now 
Now it's perfectly sun ripened. Hey, hands off! I just need to mix something up. I can't risk having my brew chain screwed up. My reputation is at stake. Well, at least until they get to know me better. I have a great guacamole recipe here. Oh yeah? That would be interesting for me too. People around here are into that kind of thing. I'll give you the recipe. Hmm. This might really give my business a boost. Okay, go ahead. Just don't break the mixer. I wonder if it's dangerous to cut this thing open. I think I'll throw it in whole, just to be safe. I mean, who puts tomato in their guacamole? A few dashes of lemon. A pinch of salt. Coriander. Assuming I correctly identify the herb. That should be everything. According to the cookbook, all of the ingredients are now in the mixer. Now all I have to do is mix everything. Hopefully, there weren't any leftovers in there from Lefty's newest beer creation. I'll put the guacamole in the bucket. Food! All you alpacas, fall in! Let the alpacas enjoy it. I really don't have any use for that. For once, I have to admit, I can't cream because I can't reach. Let's see what happens. Woe is me. He fulfilled the prophecy. He is the man in white. If I'd known that, oh, forgive me. From now on, you shall be known as El Nari. Uh -huh. Now, eat this cactus. Sure, just hand it over. Here, take it. Hmm, kind of salty. Uh, I feel... Hmm, so these are sharpened senses. The cactus has given you new powers, El Lari. You can now talk to the most wonderful beings on Earth. Hey, you want some? Yeah, I want some. Then spit in my mouth, you animal! Oh, yes, call me animal names. You camel! Oh, you gotta go getting all carried away again. How come you guys can talk? I think the gringo can understand us, compadre. Ay, Dios mio, what was in that guacamole? <laughs> Then, it's true. The gringo is a larry! I get it. Please allow us to introduce ourselves. We are... El Barker and El Ungulado! It is our sacred duty to show the Chosen One the way. The secret passage leads through the fireplace behind the wall at Los Leftos. To open it, you must activate a hidden age-old mechanism. 
a lever next to the fireplace. Go to the villa and fulfill your destiny. Did you get all that? Jump into the fire, turn to smoke, fly through the chimney. Got it. Close enough. It seems you possess the gift of wisdom. Thanks. Take that, that. Easy. I gotta figure that out myself. That must be the mechanism the alpacas were talking about. A secret passage. This must be BJ's villa. The alpaca said that I must fulfill my destiny. Faith, I'm coming. What's wrong, Pie? You've been so quiet lately. Yeah, otherwise people might think I have something to do with you. What the hell is this thing? That's a big thing. The eggplant is a bit bushy around the base. Let's see what happens. Wow! That thing took all the water out of the plant. Now it's really wilted. It's lighter than I expected. Slowly, slowly, not too close. Yeah, that should fit. It seems to have liked it. Now I've got it. I just have to... That was all more than a little strange, but now the window's open. Looks safe. What? How did I... Oh, who cares? Time to get moving. Faith, I'm coming. Wow. BJ spared no expense. Damn it. I can't get downstairs. This side of the stairs was just washed. And the other one freshly painted. What am I supposed to do now? Faith, I would like to apologize. Wait. Ah, she's not responding. There she is. Baby, wait. Why can't she hear me? Can't let BJ what about find BJ? Him. Damn, she got away from me again. BJ must have threatened Faith or something. <gasps> Poor thing. He'll be in a lot of trouble if I get my hands on him. What do I do now? Hey, babe, wait a minute. I have to get to the secret room. Didn't go back up. She must be down here somewhere. A hidden switch. There was a door behind it. It just opened. Behind it, everything's dark. Faith, I'm coming.
Ah, awake at last. Good. That was the last time you get in my way. The new Pi phone could have been my masterpiece. With it, I could have controlled everyone's brain waves, their thinking, their sex drives, their attitudes. And I could have made it look like Faith was actually behind it all. But thanks to you, everything has gone to hell. Faith, I got enough timber points now. <sighs> I'm gonna blow this whole place up. There won't be a shred of evidence left behind. And they'll blame this whole disaster on you. So you can count the seconds to your death, Larry. Well... At least we're alone now, Faith. Larry, you bloody... Faith? I think she fainted. I could reach that, but what would I need handcuffs for? Should I tie myself up, too? If it was closer to the cage... That's more than an arm's length away. Unreachable from here. Might be useful, but I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Too far away. can't reach it like that. I have to deactivate it somehow. What the hell was that? The cactus gave you a vision. Can I have another one? Your mind would not be able to take that. You have now seen what can happen. Now you need the key. You mean the metaphoric of everything I just experienced? No, 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 no. The key. This one here. Oh, okay. What's it for? It is the key to salvation. Then I'll take it with me. Coward. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Elray said I've seen what can happen, but not what must happen. This time, I'll stop BJ and save Faith. I have to get to the villa. Hmm, but this place looks different than it did before. What's wrong, Pi? You've been so quiet lately. This is all getting a little too confusing for me. There's water in it. Another big thing. That loosened the dirt. Hmm. Good thing I know so much about physics. Or... geology. What was that about the boulders? now. Ha <laughs> ha! That thing won't be getting out of there anytime soon. That could work. Yes, 
Now the window is open. Time to get moving. Faith, I'm coming. This time, though, for real. Just like in the vision. But where's Faith? I have to get down to the secret room. I've been here before. Where's the secret switch? Now there's a... Statue of Faith? I have to find that switch. There you are! I'm ready. I hope this doesn't end like last time. Faith, I'm coming. Awake again? Good. That's the last time you get in my way. Everything was going so well. Nobody knew what a useless windbag BJ actually was. Hey! I could stay in the background, but that's all over now. Faith, I've got enough timber points now. I'm not going on a date with you. Why didn't you just say so? Are you supposed to have an evil plan to use the Pi phone as a surveillance device and to control everyone? Uh, what do you mean? We've been doing that for ages. Everyone sends us their data voluntarily, and the Pi phone sensors record everything. Nobody knows me better than you do, baby. Believe me. I know more about you than I ever wanted to know. And it's going to take more than a little effort to forget you again. But don't worry, I'll manage. What are you doing? Why are you locking BJ up? Because he's totally incompetent. I've given him all kinds of things to occupy his time. He was allowed to choose the colors for the devices, the types of styrofoam for the packaging. He got to stick his face in front of every goddamn camera and act like the big boss of Prune, as long as he deflected them from me. A and I did! He caused chaos at Prune time and time again. The whole thing with the wrongly installed antenna and the Pi phone before last. I only left him unattended for five minutes. Then he kept disappearing, and one morning we had to pick him up from some scruffy dive somewhere in New Lost Wages. And that's how he lost the prototype and the whole disaster began. In other words, that's how you first came into our lives, unfortunately. But he's the boss. He's a puppet. Nothing more. So I hired BJ, a hackneyed actor. After all, there had to be a man at the top. Eventually, I began to enjoy pulling the strings from behind the scenes. But thanks to all this mess you've made, my company is on the rocks, and BJ's time has come. Won't you reconsider our date? Maybe. Yes? No. Enough! Like I said, what a weakling. How fitting that you two are going to rot here together. No one will ever find you here. BJ was a mistake. I should have replaced him before he got carried away. Hmm, wouldn't that be a job for you? After all, you've proved that you have stamina. I'll take the job. You wish. No, Larry. This is where you're going to die. Ah, so that's what the key was for. How do we get out of here, BJ? Leave me, Larry. I don't deserve to be saved. Okay, if you say so.
In the version I had earlier, BJ used that to trigger the self-destruct mechanism. I hope it's the door opener now. Excellent. I just have to trust my instincts. Faith, I'm coming. I've been here before. Don't come any closer. I'll get us a nice bottle of wine. You're worse than BJ. Baby, let's run away together. Don't make me throw you off. You, me, a four-poster bed. <laughs> what do you say? How did you get out, anyway? I used a door opener. I mean, out is the... Hold on. What door opener? Some red button. The red button beside the door? That's not the door opener. I knew it was a stupid idea to put the button right next to the door. Faith, what have you done? You done, you idiot. You activated the self-destruct. Wasn't BJ still in the house? Then he's Shashlik now. Faith? Go left! That was close. Larry, in spite of everything, you still saved my life. You're too beautiful to be crushed. Oh, Larry, I think we should... was the last I saw of her. Hmm. Sad story. But at least she's alive. I won't give up until I find her. She tried to kill you. Several times. Man, people sure have gotten sensitive in the 21st century. Hmm. And BJ was in the house when it exploded? Oops. <laughs> You're right. We'll probably never know. Up here. What? Now what the hell? Three. How'd you get free? The cage broke on impact. What about you, Larry? What are you gonna do now? No idea. What about that beer? I don't know if that would be good for you right now. Anyone who can survive an explosion can handle your beer, Lefty. Okay, fine. Oh! New matches on timber. Just leave it, Larry. Mm. Who's this guy? Ah, it's just Larry. Go on, girls. It's just Larry. <laughs> Look at him. Poor Larry's never gonna fall in love. <laughs> around 
Nikki every Friday trying to get some. When Larry walks into a room, he looks around and it goes boom. He falls in love with every girl, buys them down and drinks and pops. But every time he sees his chance, the girl thinks it's not worth a match. She kicks him up and Larry knows another fan. She thinks that Larry's super sweet and wants him suddenly to meet. So finally, Larry's dreams come true. He softly whispers, I love you. And hand in hand, so you can see Larry has a family. Larry, oh Larry, is happy with his life. He has some kids and a nice and gently wife. Each and every single day. And have some time.